And we have a Essex Alliance League Division 2 matchup coming up for you today. Limor Gardens hosting Woodford East. Limor Gardens lost their first game 9-1, so they'll be looking to come back from that. As for Woodford, they lost their first game 7-5 in that game. Thomas Osmond scored a hat-trick. He is on the bench today. They won their second game 3-1, so they're looking to build on that and give Limor Gardens some more despair. The referee has said what he needs to say to the players and we're ready to get us kicked off. Let's go boys, come on! Woodsford, Woodford East kicking us off from right to left. Nice bit of play in the middle. you got to think there's going to be a lot of goals coming through today. Whether Limor Gardens are going to be on the back end of conceding nine again, who knows you got to think with them being the home side, they'll have a bit, a little bit of cheering on from the crowd behind them today as they have a free kick early inside two and a half minutes. Delivered in, free at the back post and it's a wonderful strike into the roof of the net. It's a perfect start for Limo Gardens, two and a half minutes in, they go 1-0 up. It's an absolute wonderful strike there. The little man, Jonathan Hurrell, the number 10. We didn't think he'd be heading that one in. It's a perfect volley though. And Limo Gardens, they lead 1-0 early. Woodford East with a chance maybe to equalise almost immediately after going behind. That strike is pretty tame though, easy for the keeper to gain there. Bit more pressure here for Woodford East. A ball played across, it's bobbled, it's... A bit of a, a bit of a goal mouth scramble there, but unfortunately for Woodford East, they cannot convert. Limor Gardens now is deflected. The keeper's not dealt with it, but there, second time of asking, he keeps the ball out of his own net. Close one there. Limor Gardens almost going two 0 up. Woodford East, they have a chance here. What a play, and it's blasted over the bar. William Osmond, the number eleven, he did the hard work, sent two defenders to the shops but blazed the strike over the bar. Was there a bobble in there? That's probably what he's going to say to his teammates. Should really be one all. The, the keeper spilt it, meanwhile, and Limor Gardens lead 2-0. It's put in the back of the net. PJ Marcus has put Limor Gardens 2-0 up. Woodford East, they've had a few chances since going 1-0 down, but they haven't converted them. Again, the keeper spilt it. Leslie with the initial ball in. Keeper really should be doing better. PJ Marcus reacting there where the Woodford East defenders would not. And he has an easy tap in. Woodford East is still going to carry on going though. you got to think we are only 13 minutes in. They have a chance really to get something out of this game still. But Limor Gardens have, a, have another chance here. It comes out to Leslie at the edge of the area. This time the keeper does make it an easy work for himself. Wilford East now, a ball in, taken down. He's struck and it's a great save. Oi McKelney with a great strike there. Ultimately, Michael, ultimately Sean Michael is the equal in goal. Had a good game as Michael in there. Lymo Garden have a chance again. Again, it's not dealt with by Woodford East. And before half time, it's 3 0 to the hosts. They are putting their opening day disaster behind them. Limor Gardens, they lead 3 0. Wolford East, I don't know what they're doing in defence there. The keeper's well beaten. It's a great dink over the top of him there. Woodford East, they lead 3-0 before half-time. Woodford, sorry, Woodford East, they're behind 3-0 at half-time. Limor Gardens taking the game to them. Woodford East have another chance here at the corner to maybe pull one back just before half-time. The strike isn't dealt with by the keeper. It's a bit of a goal-mile scramble again, but this time it is headed in. Thomas Osmond, we said, got a hat-trick in that 5-7 defeat opening day. And he's got a goal. He's trying to rile up his team. Will this prove to be a consolation? Or will this give them a bit of momentum that they need before heading into the second half? Just before half time, they now only trail 3 1. 
And now the chance, maybe. Osman's in again. On that left foot. He takes it onto his right. He strikes it and he just puts it wide. In added time of the first half, Osmond had a chance to double his tally there and make it 3-2 just before the whistle. Michael pumps the ball up. It's headed, but the referee is going to call an end to this first half. Limor Gardens racing out to a 3-0 advantage early. Thomas Osmond's goal pulling one back for Woodford East. That'll give him a bit of a bit of momentum, a bit of hope going into that going into the second half. You would think. We said there'll be goals, in this first half there's been none short of them. It's 3-1 to the hosts. Lyme or East are going to be kicking us off here for the second half, shooting from right to left. Woodford East seem to have the most of the seem to have the most of the chances, but Lyme or Gardens did seem to take them. Bit of, a, bit of a strong challenge there to begin the second half. Woodford East definitely fired up as they have a chance here. It's taken down. It's passed in. And it's a tame effort by Osmond. You've got to think he's got to be doing better there. Sean Michael will be happy to see that one go into his hands. Woodford East, they have another chance here. McElney again whips the ball in. But it's dealt with there. A good header away by Monk. Lymore Gardens now breaking again. Can they take their chances once again? It's Bobbles, the keeper, he spilt it. The referee's not given anything. And it's just gone wide. There might have been a foul on the keeper there, nothing given. A bit of a mess up at the back here by Limor Gardens. And Osmond, Osmond's in again. He strikes, he's blocked. The keeper, the keeper's made a mess of it again. And the strike, he recovers well. I don't know how much he knew of it, but it hits his legs and it goes wide. Not many goals here in the second half so far. Closing in on 15 minutes left of the 90. Woodford East, they have a chance maybe here now. But again, it's a team effort. Corner here. Whipped in. Headed away. Headed away by Leslie. And now it's time for Limor Gardens to maybe build a counter attack. Help him, you gotta help him. You gotta help him. Gordner with a great ball through there. And he's round the keeper. Can he finish with the left foot? It's turned in, turned in the end by John L. Lungenkisa. Warren Isoka does all of the dirty work there, latching onto the end of the ball. He rounds the keeper, and his his strike on goal is turned in by Lungenkisa. Here we see, it is a tough angle. He's done well to get it on target. Lungenkisa's strike. Almost cleared off the line, but you've got to think now with 10 minutes left. Woodford East are not going to be getting anything from this game. They have a free kick here, though, you think. Maybe they can get, an, get a quick one back. Cut the deficit to two with nine minutes left. The ball's whipped in, and it's headed at the far post, and it's turned in by that man again, Thomas Osmond. It's his fifth goal of the season. It's his second tonight. Bit of a depleted celebration, you would think. I th I'm pretty sure Osman knows that this game is fat. This game is pretty much all but done. Be good for him to get a goal, though. It's now 4-2 to Limor Gardens. Ball's played through here. Whipped in. Unfortunately, no one's able to get on the end of it. Woodford East with the ball here. Messing about over at the back though. And it's struck and it's turned in. And Warren Isoka with the goal for Limor Gardens. The three goal deficit is back. It is 5 2. Ultimately, Tyler Fenton messing about over at the back. He loses the ball and Woodford East to punish rightfully for it. Warren Isoka, he set up the fourth goal. He's finished this one off. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Again, maybe the keeper should be doing better. Ultimately, Isoka won't care. He makes it five. Into the fourth minute of added time here. Played onto the edge of the box. Bit of a bobble takes it underneath. Underneath the man there. Well done, Alex. Well done. Playing a possession in the box here. It's whipped across. Bit of room at the back. Struck by Osmond on a hat-trick. He can't get it. It's struck in the end. 
by Jordan Lima, who puts the ball in the back of the net. It's a great strike into that bottom right corner, but ultimately it'll be no more than a consolation. A goal fest in the last 15 minutes. The goals we thought had dried up here in the second half. But Lima's strike, and I think that's going to call the action to a close five minutes after the 90. The ball's played up. Chance for Woodford to maybe get a fourth here. Ultimately, they can't keep the ball there. And the referee is going to call an end to the second half. A wonderful game for the neutral. Eight goals scored. Limor Gardens, the horse, running out five free victors. Oh, it's worth it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah